Camtasia 2022 is finally here. And if you're not familiar with Camtasia, it is an easy to use video editing and screen recording tool that can help you make your videos look a lot more professional and make them a lot more interesting with a lot less time and a lot less effort. But in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the new features that they've put out. I'm gonna show you how to use some of those new features to make your videos look more professional. And I'm going to blow your mind with an integration that they've made with Camtasia that could possibly change the way that we edit videos from this day forward. And we're starting right now. When we open up Camtasia, the first thing we're greeted with is a new home screen. Now on this new home screen, you have the normal functions here where you can start a new project, a new project from a template, you can open a project, you can start a new recording. But some of the new things that they've added is if you look over here to the right hand side, you're going to see that there are quick jumps into other TechSmith products, as well as just a quick jump directly into Camtasia as well. And when it comes to this one right here, it's called Audiate, and they have an integration with this now with Camtasia to where it could possibly change the way that we edit forever, but I'm going to show you more details about that later in the video. But if we look down here at the bottom, we're going to see a template area. Now here in this template area, these are just templates that you can use as part of your videos. You can use them as starting points. You can use them as just assets that you add to your videos to just kind of make them pop. And of course we have our recent projects right here so that we can jump into anything that we've been working on recently. In addition to that, over here on the left-hand panel, we see the get started area, which is where we're at now. And then you're gonna see we have the learning area. With the learning area, it's important to know that TechSmith does have something called the TechSmith Academy, which is completely free for content creators. So if you want to learn how to do all kinds of things related to creating content, the TechSmith Academy will help you do it. And then because they are really big on customer service over at TechSmith, you can see here that they also have a resources page, which is a bunch of places where you can get different types of customer support. Now let's jump into the main interface. This is a little project that I put together for the sake of this demo. And you can see that I have a video file in here. I have the screen recording in here. And I also have the audio file that comes with the screen recording. And the reason that I have all these is so you can see some of the functionality that they have in here. The first thing I wanna to bring to your attention inside of Camtasia 2022 that is really cool is that you can now add a cursor to anything, even a video file. Check this out. I'm gonna go over to cursor effects and I'm gonna click on cursor path. I'm just gonna pull that down to my video file. And then you can see that it adds this path here to my screen. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, because I can see the cursor is really small down here, so I'm gonna come over to this right-hand panel and I'm going to increase the size of the cursor so that everybody will be able to see it easily. And then as I play through this timeline, you can see as I move the playhead that it moves the cursor over to the right-hand side. And of course, you can customize this to give it any curve that you want, to have it land anywhere that you want. So for example, if I wanted it to land right here on this gray part of the card, and then again, if I go back and I hit play, then you're gonna see it comes in there. So of course, in this particular case, I would wanna grab this little node up here on the top left, and then I would actually move it out of screen. So then I can have the animation coming in like this. This is just the very tip of the iceberg with this. You can also use this if you have a screenshot and you didn't do an actual screen recording, you can use this to where you can create the cursor path to where it will look like it's a screen recording and your mouse is moving around and all of that using this specific tool. I'm just showing you this option on a just a raw video file so you can see that you can literally use it on anything. Now, since we're talking about cursors, there are some other things related to the cursors that are a part of this update as well. For example, in the past when it came to a screen screen recording, you can see right here how the cursor is, you know, kind of small on the screen. And of course, in the past, if I were to zoom in, even though it holds the integrity of the image itself in terms of the thing that I recorded, sometimes the mouse cursor itself would get a little bit blurry, especially if I enlarged it. Now they automatically replace the cursor with a vector version, which means that you can make the cursor as big as you want to. You can zoom in as much as you want to, and the cursor itself is still going to maintain the quality and everything's going to be nice and crisp and sharp with your cursor. Just to show you what I mean, I'm going to click on the screen recording file, and then I'm going to grab the scale up here in the top right hand side, and I'm just going to make this large. And you can see what I mean in terms of, this is a pretty big cursor now, and it's just nice and crisp in terms of the quality of the cursor, which will make the entire recording look better. The next thing I wanna bring your attention to in regards to the cursor is if we go up here to the top right hand side again, since we are clicked on this screen recording, if I click on edit cursor path, then you're going to see here that it gives us the option to simplify an existing path or to create 
create a new path. In this example, we're gonna simplify an existing path. So I'm gonna click on continue. And the thing that I wanna bring your attention to is you can see how the cursor started down here and then it goes and it kind of moves in all these weird places. And that's not really what I want it to do while somebody's actually watching the recording. So because of that, now I have the option to where I can come in and I can actually you know, move where this is happening or I can just come in and simply delete where I'm moving the mouse all over the place so that I can make sure that the viewer isn't distracted by my mouse jumping all over. And now once I've cleaned that up, you can see that we have a clear path going from point A to point B. Next, there's been a huge update to the library assets inside of Camtasia. There's now over a thousand new assets that you can use in your videos. If you're not familiar with what the library assets are, is they are animations and icons and all kinds of additional things. Let me take you on a tour and show you some of them. The first ones are callouts. They have counters where you can do countdowns, you can do count ups, you can count down seconds, you can count down the frames that you have in the video, all kinds of creative uses for those. They also have these cool animated callouts. Check this out. Let's say in this example that I was trying to bring attention to the monetization of this particular video being on. I move the asset into place to where it's going to be pointing to it. I double click to change the text. And then as it plays, it brings attention to the thing that I want to bring the attention to, which is fantastic. And not only does it bring attention to it, it does it in a really cool way and helps make the video look more professional. This entire library area is filled with these types of things. I'll show you a few more. We have cursor animations, which are really cool. And when you combine those with the cursor paths, you can do some really fun stuff. Check this out. So if you remember how we did that example where we had the cursor coming in and clicking on this gray, or at least stopping on this gray, now what we can do for fun here if we want to is we can come in and we can grab one of these cursor animations i'll just grab the arrow double click and we have two different versions here we have the mac version which is a darker arrow and then we have the windows version which is a white arrow so pick whichever one is working you know with the with the computer that you have i'm actually on a pc and as you can see here i'm still seeing the black one on my screen so i'm just going to go ahead and jump into the mac versions for this but what i can do is i can grab this library asset right here and i can pull it down to this moment then I move it into place. I'm going to use my arrow keys to just bump it into place so it's perfect here because it's, it's going to give it that like popped out feel. But I can also scale it down if I wanted to match it exactly right up here. And then as this plays, by combining it with that graphic, it just adds a lot more oomph to that particular moment. And again, they've got over a thousand different things like this that you can do to add to your videos to make them that much more cooler and to make them that much more interesting when people are watching them. Now, another thing I want to show you, and normally this used to only be available over in their annotations area where you could do the call outs and you could draw squares around things, circles around things and things like that. However, they now have a bunch of these inside of their library now as well that you can just drag and drop into your project. So right here, if we come down to hand drawn and we grab this circle, and we pull this down to the timeline, then you can see here that as we play this, it adds a circle to whatever the thing is that I'm trying to bring attention to in the video. You can grab these and make them bigger. You can make them smaller. You can drag them around the screen. You can position them any way that you want in order to make sure that you are focusing people on the thing that you want them to see. But check this out. You can also change the color of these. So if I wanted to come over here and I wanted to change this to red, then all I have to do is click on that and then we have it changed over to red. So you can customize these to match your branding, or if you are doing a screen recording, or if you're on video and using a certain color, it's just not standing out enough, then you can just come in and change the color until it stands out, which is great. Another interesting thing they've added to Camtasia 2022 is gradients. So when it comes to the gradients, you can just grab these and you can pull them on to your timeline. And when you do that, you can see how it just kind of changes the look of what it is that you're showing. So if you wanted to use this for emphasis on something, or if you wanted to use it as a pattern interrupt of some kind of where you had your screen recording going, and then you had this come on and everything kind of shakes a little bit, and then it goes back to the normal footage, you can use this for that type of thing in order to just take that moment to grab people's attention. They also have animated versions of these overlays lays, like all kinds of really cool stuff in this library. Another thing they've added to Camtasia 2022 is over 30 new transitions. So they have already had a great library of transitions, but they've added more 
to give you more to work with. Now, the next one I wanna bring your attention to is in the visual effects area, and this is called blend mode. This is another new feature inside of Camtasia 2022. This can also be applied to video content. And this is really cool because you can do some really fun things with this. So for example, if I wanted to make it look like I was sitting in front of the camera looking at my computer screen, then all I would have to do is put the blend mode on the video file like I just did. Then I would come down to the screen recording I would come up to the properties over on the top right hand side and I would flip the screen by 180 degrees. And then if I was looking, it would look like I was interacting with the screen because you can see through the video footage and see the screen recording happening underneath. So you can use this in a lot of creative ways as well to help make your videos a lot more interesting. So before I show you the integration that I was talking about before that could possibly change the way that you edit your videos from now forward, one more thing that I do wanna mention inside of Camtasia 2022 is that they've also made the exporting process faster as well. So to export your file, all you have to do is just click on the export button and then save it to your local computer, or you can just upload it directly to YouTube or Vimeo or wherever it is that you're uploading your content. But before we had to go through a bunch of different steps in order to export. Now, all we have to do is click on local file, and then choose where we're gonna download it on the computer and then hit export. Now, let me show you the other thing. So when we're editing videos, typically we'll go through and we'll cut out the parts that we don't want. And a lot of times that means that we're gonna have to sit there and watch the video footage and keep going through it and cutting out, you know, all the different parts that we don't like. Now with the integration that Camtasia has done with Audiate, check this out. I'm gonna to go to my audio file. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to click edit and Audiate. Audiate has now transcribed the audio from my video. Now, the really cool thing about this is if you look at these little yellow dots, these are ums. So it highlights the places where you're making mistakes in your videos, which is pretty awesome, where you're using filler like that. So you can do one thing, which is just go right up here to the edit and you can take out all hesitations. You can silence them or you can delete them. So in this case, I'm just gonna delete them for fun. Now you can see that those dots are gone, which means that Audiate has removed those ums from the project. The next thing I do is I save this. And as a matter of fact, I'm also going to take out this little part right here. I'm just gonna hit delete. And you can see as I'm doing this, the wave file underneath it is also disappearing. So I'm gonna hit save. Now I'm going to export this over into Camtasia. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm clicking on edit the Camtasia timeline to automatically keep the entire timeline in sync. And then I'm gonna click export. Now you can see the edits right here where Camtasia made that change for me and snapped everything right back into place. Pretty cool, right? This isn't perfect yet, but it's really, really close. In some cases, I found that it just nails it. In other cases, it, it'll come through just a little bit weird. So you have to go in and make adjustments to it. But, um, but this is a really cool direction that we're going in. And if you wanna learn more about editing videos, click into this playlist right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.